I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Ready to do some business? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Rancid bastard. <laughs> See? Mine's fresh. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Faerun's finest festival. As long as you're not sober. Or able to smell. Uh. Oh! Or able to... Don't mind the ladies' court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. Don't mind the... Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? Beverages of distinction. Or in some cases, Extinction, if you ain't careful. How are you feeling today? Lucky? What are you having? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? just fell flat where they stood. Let some other bugger try to strip them for parts. There's... What's the point in paying the guild for protection when they've pulled back all their crews? There's a bloody army coming! Bare hands. Bare hands. A charm, of course. And then you'll do it yourself. Don't mind the lady's call. Uh, no distractions, mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Wants her friends and parliament close with this new duke making moves. Uh, no distractions. You did not see me. A peer of the Parliament openly walking the Guildhall would sell a few copies of Boulder's Mouth, I expect. What? Lady AQ still playing that game? I don't have one ready. 
someone's vintage Moonshay Zinfandel collection. But it looks like a lot of the bottles have gone missing. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <clears throat> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhold. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. I have some lovely, lightless cells I could show you. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times, and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or... part of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this right little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but... This fight's too big for you alone. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well... You've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day.
There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ale scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. What, late? Keep the Harper out of trouble. Just because I don't want to kill her, doesn't mean I won't. Beyond that, be welcome. Be merry. Is there something you require of a human guild master? Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Mm. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolute's at our gate, and the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants. If it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. Clean water, filthy riches, and everything in between. We're citizens of the city. No more, no less. Right now, I'll settle for taking our city back. Keep the Harper out of trouble. Beyond that, be well. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. We don't. The Zentarim work for me. Time was I'd charge the bastards double if I let them into my hall at all, but times change. The Guild is many things, but it's not an army. If the Absolute keeps pushing in on our territory, then I need a little weight to push back. We've crossed paths over the years. Two hands trying to steer the city. Just not always in the same direction. Oh, I can't stand Harpers as a rule, but Jir is the exception. She's only really half a Harper at most. You mean that as a compliment? I am sure. The same way I'm not just the lowly thief, vagabond and murderer the Watch and Peers would paint me as. I happen to be a fine singer too. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. 
I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Right. Well, water before. Do you need anything else? Keep the Harper out of trouble. Beyond that, be knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Oh. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. Don't pout. For a brief second, I did weigh the odds on killing you. But if there's a tainted elder brain slopping around below my city, I think we need one another more than ever. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Oh. You've got some juicy little... Right. Well, water be... Keep me from having to kill the Harper. Which means keeping out of the guild's way. All right. Wonderful. Knife. A hot one, I think.
Stone Lord plans to rob the Counting House, and Nine Fingers means to trap him there. Speak. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hall? Fair warning, the Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Well, whoever he is, he doesn't seem very keen on talking. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the Guildmaster, maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? Don't give me that squinty side eye like all those paranoid guildies. Nine Fingers is well respected in the Zentarim. If the Stone Lord's pressing in on her territory, we're here to help. Missed the welcome parade, did you? Hugging, tears, it was just lovely. True, we've been better liked in towns we bloody conquered, but it's hard to blame Nine Fingers. On top, undisputed for years. Then you have to call the likes of us in to protect you from some shithead calling himself Stone Lord. I'd be embarrassed too. I know times are tough, but this crowd could mingle a bit, eh? We're all on the same side. Don't expect much chat from Fishbait. Boss skewered his tongue on a hook years past. Only joking. He's just a surly bastard. We call him Fishbait because of the smell. The Black Company cares. Just so happens that we charge, too. Do not worry, <laughs> Guild's friends are Tuskrunt's friends, and I don't hurt my friends, unless they deserve it. Do not worry, <laughs> Guild's friends are Tuskrunt's friends, and I don't...
soldier.
Get going. God, this is speak. This ain't a public rooftop. It's mine, so piss off! Clear off, for I'll push you off. Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. Drop a coin, take a flower. May Chauntia's blessings be upon you, child. Probably read. Can I interest you in um, uh, a copy of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette? Please buy one. I knew that's all. I just need to practice. It's a really good paper, though. No spelling mistakes in it or anything. Oh, um, she's very busy. I think she's made new fr friends in the city. I'm going to join her there when the gates open.
Uh, so can I interest you in, um, uh, oh, um, she's very busy. I think she's made new fr friends in the city. I'm going to join her there when the gates open. Thank you. My first sale. I can't wait to tell Mole. Sorry, I can't talk. I might miss my next customer. to mention the parchment quality of the Gazette. Ugh, awful. You can smell that, right? Bloody rotten it is! Don't bother reporting it. The fists don't care what happens down here. Oh, don't worry about the smell, citizen. Probably just the drains. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'll make a report to the city maintenance teams. They'll fix it, eventually. I feel a little... But another harvest. I can still move fast when I need to.
This is my time. Two steps at a time. Standing, no matter what you heard. Quickly. Two steps at a time. This is my time. Thank you for cutting those creatures down. Truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. More of those creatures. Not sure why they're attacking out in the open like this. Could have gone a lot worse. Thanks for that. I have to admit, being attacked by sea devils definitely isn't my best day. But it wasn't the worst either. God, all we wanted was a nice dockside walk, not an unscheduled menagerie visit. Oh, disgusting creatures. I hope they dispose of them soon. Did you see? They popped up out of the water all around me. Bitch Queen's mercy. I'm glad they're dead, but what do we do with them now? They smell awful already. Fighting those monsters, you were magnificent, I think. I mean, I couldn't really see from where I was, but I bet you were. I just feel so much safer 
knowing there's people like you around to defend us. Oh, those creatures will think twice next time. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You saved more than just my livelihood. A bit quieter after the Shawagan attack, but that's to be expected. Loyal customers will be back. Fesh mainly. The flaming fast commandeer the best of, but I can show you what I've got. Watch yourself, eh? God's willing, there won't be any more of those things. Did you hear this was the best place to buy fish in the city as well? Seems they neglected to mention the sea devils. Gods! Do you think they're going to chop them up and sell them? I bloody hope not. That was incredible! And just think, what a story it'd make when fish fight back! I mean, if when fish fight back doesn't tickle your fancy, how about... I don't know. That was the best one, to be honest. That's curious. What's that? Minsk, the Great Ranger. He's alive and infected. Else, we need to act. Speak. Minsk is working for the cult. Damn. He must have been tadpoled, or worse. The real Minsk would never join up with the God's damned absolute. Maybe we can help him. The prism, right? He should shut that tadpole up. If he doesn't kick our butts first, it's kind of his thing. Get careless, the guild will come from its cup. What does it come out of that process? Us. Calm down. Nobody's killing anyone over a few, eh? Just discussing the weather, dearie. Nothing of interest to you. <sighs> that salt air does me good. Say what you will about the city, but at least everyone can find a sea view easy enough. Plenty to do and see in the gate. No need to barge in our private chat. Go on, away with... So, still got the goods? Wouldn't be here if I didn't... Behold, this tree is plagued by pestilence, yet refuses to die. The goddess Shontia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. I will spend every drop of my magic to save this tree from death, if Shontia wills it.
Just until he has somewhere better to go. And he's not on it. I shouldn't have run away. God is busy with their patrol and God is busy with fireworks never hurt anyone. That's just what grown ups say to make us not want to play with them. I love the smell of fireworks. Reminds me of grandma's stories of home. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, rats, I'm short. Maybe if I save up for another ten day, I'll be able to get a medium sized one. An entire edition dedicated to one lord and his metal toy. For Logie's fireworks, once it's lit, you commit. And explosives. Not a good mix. I've got a long road ahead. That smoke powder smell. It smells so good. When I've got my own money, I'm going to buy so many fireworks. He's a bit of a genius, isn't he? At sales, not fireworks. Of course, it helps to have the only license in town to sell the stuff. I've just got to find something that only I can produce. That's really hard to replicate. Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. Mephits are allowed, but only the non-magma kind. Employees only pass this point. If you want to buy something, talk to Mr. Sonshul. Unless you got hired since we last spoke, you still can't come in here. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... a light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Fallokia's Fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown-off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all-too-familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. Oh, we trade in all sorts. Anything that can be lit, flamed, or fired up. Smoke powder is a beautiful mistress. She will not be limited to one form, and she is quite malleable in the right hands. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes, he's just upstairs, but only one flight. 
If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste? Of course. Browse responsibly now. Remember, once it's lit, and if it's not a firework, do whatever you like. Seen your uncle yet? Best not to keep him waiting. Steady at the mark. 